Configuring your network to work with mobile together is a very straightforward process. This tutorial will provide you with the information required to have a firm understanding of how mobile together operates in a typical network setup. It will cover both the network setup from the previous video as well as the final network setup, one that will allow mobile together clients outside your corporate firewall to connect to services inside your firewall. Before jumping into configuration, it helps to understand how Mobile Together works. A typical app will consist of three main parts, a Mobile Together server, several Mobile Together clients, and backend data sources such as SQL databases and JSON APIs. A client running a Mobile Together app will make a request to an instance of Mobile Together server running on-premise. The server handles all permissions and authentication, as well as making requests to any relevant backend data sources. It then sends a payload of data back to the client, which renders a mobile app on the user's mobile device. It's important to note that all communication happens via Mobile Together server. The client app never actually touches your backend data sources directly. In the previous tutorial, we went over the steps to set up a Mobile Together server installation residing inside your corporate firewall. In this example, we set up both the Mobile Together server and Altova license server on the same machine. All connections were limited to clients who were on the same network as the Mobile Together server and, as such, mobile devices on a cellular connection were unable to load apps. The only connection made to the outside world was a one-way request by license server to verify the license we uploaded. Our goal now is to make apps usable outside your corporate network. To do this, we recommend moving Mobile Together server inside your network's DMZ. We will also expect the server to be given a public-facing IP address in addition to a private internal address. Please also note that all of the ports listed in this guide are default ports. Every one of them can be changed to suit the needs of your network configuration. First, let's talk about Altova license server. This server can be on the same machine as Mobile Together Server, but it does not have to be. For this tutorial, however, we will assume that it is on the same machine. License Server will listen on port 8088. This port is used by administrators to connect via HTTP to administer the license server. License Server will also communicate out to the Altova Master License Server on port 443, so please make sure this is open outbound. License Server can optionally send emails to administrators, notifying them when licenses are about to expire and when other issues arise. If you choose to use this functionality, you will need to allow access to your SMTP server, defaulting to port 25. Moving on to Mobile Together Server. This server application will need to be accessible by both internal and external clients. I will be providing you with a set of ports for both SSL and non-SSL connections. The server can be configured to enable or disable each type of connection. Once again, these ports are all default and can be changed as needed. Throughout this tutorial, we will be depicting two firewalls. Since we recommend placing mobile together in your DMZ, we are assuming that you will have a firewall controlling traffic coming in from the outside world, as well as one controlling traffic coming in from your internal network. In many cases, this may be the same device physically, but it's easier to conceptualize as different devices. Externally, there are two ports that will need to be mapped. Clients connecting to Mobile Together Server will need to connect using either an HTTP or HTTPS connection. We recommend mapping port 80 externally to port 8083 internally for HTTP and port 443 externally to port 8084 internally for HTTPS. Mapping these connections to commonly used ports will reduce the likelihood of connections being blocked by other firewalls outside your network. Internally, you will be mapping a few extra ports. Ports 8083 and 8084 are used for client connections similar to external. In addition, ports 8085 and 8086 are used by both administrators and developers to manage and deploy apps to your server. These connections happen via HTTP and HTTPS respectively. Should you choose to enable email within your apps, you will also need to open port 25 outbound to your SMTP server. At this point, you may realize that we have run into a problem. Clients configured to access your Mobile Together server from the outside may be unable to connect internally since we are anticipating that they will need to use an internal address and port when connecting. We suggest choosing from one of two methods to solve this problem. The first method involves using DNS and changing ports. Set up your internal DNS server to resolve your Mobile Together server to an internal IP address allowing clients inside your firewall to connect to the server without leaving your network while serving external users the external facing IP address. When doing this, you will also need to map port numbers internally the same way you did externally. 
You can utilize the default ports to map them directly, remap the ports at the firewall, or change the port numbers Mobile Together server is listening on. I recommend remapping the port numbers at the firewall. The second method involves setting up a loopback at your firewall. In this case, clients will use the external address and ports in all location. A loopback can be configured at the edge of your network that will allow traffic to leave your network temporarily and then loop back to your Mobile Together server. Setting this up can vary in scope and complexity depending on the hardware your organization is using. Which of these two methods you utilize will largely depend on the topology of your network and the hardware that you use. In this video, we covered a typical network setup for a Mobile Together server installation. The next video in this series will cover setting up SSL with a Let's Encrypt certificate. Mobile Together is a powerful app development framework that allows anyone to easily create mobile apps for any platform. Visit www.altova.com mobile and start creating apps today.